Good morning, everybody. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, just a quick video uh, refresher, hopefully, on how to do a um, site of resource. And I um, just want to go through this with you guys, show you a couple of different things, a couple of different tricks. Um, now, I use citationmachine.net. Um, one of the things I wanted to make sure and show you, though, is in history or in social studies, in most social studies, not psychology, but in history, we're going to use MLA. So make sure that you are working in MLA 8, I think it is now. All right, so MLA 8, I think that most of what you guys are going to do is going to be um, citing a, a website. So, I mean, if you end up using a book for something, in other class, obviously, I have that. So here you go. I'm going to show you a couple couple little tricks and we're going to click on website. So for starters, I want to show you guys something simple. Some websites actually do the work for you. Um, like for instance, if I were going to do a paper on tacos, okay, and I decided I wanted to use Wikipedia uh, as one of my resources, I can go, I can, you know, find whatever little tidbit it is I'm interested in. I don't know, the origin of tacos is not precisely known. Um, da, 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 you know, whatever. And I'm going to use a fact from that that thing, or I'm going to use a quote from that thing in my paper. And so if I'm using something like Wikipedia, one of the nice things about Wikipedia is they do the work for you. And so if you go down on the left-hand side where they've got kind of this never-ending toolbar thing, there's a thing that says cite this page. And if you go to that and you hit cite this page, it gives you kind of the biographical information for, for Taco, the things you might need, but it also tells you how to cite it. And so if you are using that, oh, I'm hovering over something that's launching something, you can literally just copy and paste this line into your work cited. The really sweet thing is it automatically updates the date that you visited and things like that. It's got the last time everything was, was updated. And so that's pretty sweet. Again, if you were doing something in APA, it also does that for you or, or any of the various styles, but we're using MLA. So one of the things to look for is if you're using like a like, like Wikipedia or if you're using a database, a lot of times it will cite the thing for you. You just have to find the right, the right button to hit. But that's not going to be the case with most of the things that you're going to do. Most of the things you're going to do, you're going to find a website. So let's say I'm doing a paper on why I don't like James Harden. It, it would be a really long paper because I really don't like James Harden. Okay. And so what I do in this case, and this is why they've made things nice and simple for you, is I am simply going to copy the, um, the website. And then when I go to Citation Machine, it asks me to cite the website or enter the website. And so I'm just going to paste that website in and I'm going to hit search. And most of the time it gives me something to work with. Oh, there we go. Uh, source, Houston Rockets, James Harden needs six straight COVID tests. That's the name. It gives me the author, all those things. Now I hit cite. Okay. Now here's what we found. Blah, 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 blah. Tell me all the things. Date published, date accessed, website title, URL, article name. I'm missing the spot publisher or sponsor, so we may have to we may have to figure that out. We're going to hit continue. Do, 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 do. All right. Now, it gives me a page where I can look at the different things. Um, obviously, the author's name was on the website. That's that's um, right there. It's Tim McMahon. He's a staff writer for ESPN, does a lot of NBA work. Um, tells me the website title is ESPN, the publisher sponsor, all those different things, electronically published. All right. And there you go. Basically, this one, it gives me everything that I need. Now, sometimes you might find that it doesn't, it isn't able to fill in everything you need. It might not be able to find the author. And if that's the case, you would, you would have to go to the article or the page and you would have to scroll around and look for the author. If you can't find an author, if there's an editor, you put it in the editor. Um, but most of the time you're going to be able to find an author or it's going to say like ESPN writers. If it says ESPN writers, you go to where it says last name and you type in ESPN writers. But most of the time they're, they're pretty good. Whoops, sorry, wrong thing. Most of the time they're pretty good uh, about being able to fill in the information. And then you're going to go down and you're going to hit complete citation. Now I'm going to tell you this. The first time you use Citation Machine, I am probably going to get stuck watching an ad and if that's the case i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the thing uh, because you don't need to we don't need to sit through a 30 second ad so you can see what it, the final version looks like more importantly you want to get as many of these things filled in as you can okay and so if i hit complete the citation and, and it makes us watch an ad that's normal citationmachine.net's a free service and so they make money by they make money by getting you know you to look at these things okay all right that's it for today i'm gonna let you guys go Bye bye